Okay, hi guys. So, welcome to this video. Today, we are going to be doing like a travel with me, but I'm starting with like the packing process and like just getting everything ready to go. Um, it is currently Monday and I leave tomorrow and we fly out at 5.30. We'll leave, we're all meeting up and we, meaning my team, I'm going to a tennis tournament in Florida. Um, so we're flying out of Clemson, Greenville technically um, at 5.30, but the team is meeting up at two, going over to the airport together. And I'm really excited. We're gonna be there for Tuesday through Sunday. So it's gonna be a long week um i have so many updates for you guys too so stay tuned um but i just packed a bunch of stuff i'm so excited i cannot wait to be gone also last night not last night but the night prior me and my friend made a candy salad um which is basically just like so much candy mixed together so i'm in heaven because this is staying in my room but also it's so tempting i have so much candy in here Thank goodness, I'll be gone a week. I don't have to give it to her, but yeah. All right, bye guys, I'll talk to you later. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys like the update while I'm getting ready about just what's been going on. I'm also, I'm gonna be smart, okay? I'm gonna be smart and I'm going to pack while I get ready, like my stuff. So that way that's how I know what I need to bring. All right, so I have some major updates for you guys um I actually the reason I haven't been like vlogging I know it's only been like a week or two maybe more I don't know but I think it's only been like two weeks since I last posted it but by the time this video comes out it might be a little bit longer so anyways I there's kind of a reason I've been really trying to vlog more for you guys just because I don't know I really like it and it's really fun for me but like when I tell you I was on my deathbed again Again, guys. Okay, let me think. Because I'm not about to put on, like, a full face of makeup to go to the airport. Or am I? <sighs> the struggle is real. So, basically, I... Two weeks ago, um, I started to kind of have, like, the symptoms that I had before. They are basically just, like, headache, extreme fatigue like specifically like fever shakes like hot and cold like insane chills like insane chills like shaking my butt off and I was having that really bad and I'm like it's cold outside and I'm like no city like look around everybody else here is warm you're inside a building like this is not normal and like I knew that but also I so badly didn't want it to be true and I so badly did not want to be going through another infection kind of gaslight guys gaslighted myself into thinking it wasn't happening but i very much knew what was happening um was that my best idea no um but that's okay because thankfully nothing happened out of that um and i like didn't get like sick sick right away um so anyways they I, and like basically if you're familiar with like paralyzed terms like you're familiar with like autonomic dysreflexia i basically had autonomic dysreflexia um all of the time really bad um like freezing cold but sweating like gross sweating and i don't even really sweat because of my paralysis so, like that's like saying a lot um anyways so i just was not feeling well and this was like two weeks ago and basically, I ended up finding out that I had a pretty bad UTI. I, I'm, like, pretty sure the wound was infected. Like, I wish, I so badly wish I could show you guys photos. But, like, just, like, the concept of it literally being, like, on my butt. Like, I just don't know if I really want that on the internet, you know? Even if I didn't show anything else. Like, I know, you know where it is. Like, 
But let me just tell you, it is a crater in my butt. Like, I have a huge hole that is, like, this deep and, like, this wide. So, she's there. So, I don't know, you guys. I mean, I got on some antibiotics, and honestly, the wound looks so much better. The, like, my UTI is gone. Um, I honestly had a good feeling I had a UTI, so, like, I wasn't that surprised. And honestly, UTIs, when you're paralyzed, just get bad so quickly. Like, you cannot mess around with those. Um, yeah, that's kind of the update with that. I'm now on antibiotics. Oh, but, like, a huge update is, like, now I have a wound back. Which, if you remember, I don't know if I actually vlogged when I had a wound back last. I feel like I wasn't in, like, my vlogging era then. Like... I don't know I wasn't really vlogging that much so I don't think I did but if you're not oh I did talk about it though I just didn't vlog about it but basically it's like this machine that has a tube connected to it that like connects to the wound and it drains the wound um not fun at all like you at night like you have to be plugged into the wall it's not that big of a deal however like it dies quick well not quickly but like sometimes there's times where I have to like go back to my room and charge it or like if the thing comes out in the middle of the night which is really easy to do like the whole thing turns off and it starts like screaming at you and it's just there's a lot of tubing so like if you like are transferring it's hard to transfer it's a struggle right now but that's okay um this is not my first rodeo I am choosing to be severely more optimistic than I was the first time I had it because the first time I had it I was not a happy camper with it. Um, it was, I mean, and not only that, like it hurts for me, it hurts. Like I hate the sensation of the sponging in there because it's really hard and rough sponging. It's not like, I don't know why, but gauze I can like handle, but like for some reason the sponging in the wound back is really painful also there's a lot of tape and my skin is very sensitive so it like really destroys my skin around the wound it's just not the most fun thing but it's what i have to do to close the wound so i can have the surgery which i guess i haven't even really talked about on here but i have to have another surgery um a rotational flap surgery so like, a lot's happening. I'm really, more than anything, just praying and hoping that I make it through the end of the year without having, like, another major infection. Um, so, if I can do that, I will be the happiest camper and so blessed and so lucky. I literally just need to not make it. I need to make it through the end of the school year so I can, you know, get my, like, like I don't have to, like, withdraw from the semester, I guess. Um, that would suck so bad. So bad. Because then all that work is, like, for nothing to think about it. Well, I'm going to run this video. This clip itself is so long. So, um, yeah. But I just wanted to update you guys and, like, keep you in the loop um, of what's been going on and what is going on. Um, a little stressful, in all honesty. But, you know, it'll be okay. Everything's going to work out. And, yeah, I'm excited for this week. Um, and I'm finishing up on my first year of college. So, that's so exciting. Um, but, yeah, okay. I love you guys. I'm going to go. Bye. <laughs>
Okay. Oh, I already told you. Don't worry. Did you? Oh wait, you already know. No, my mom already like spoiled it. Yeah, that's how. in the vlog. Of course. Yeah. We're on the way to Orlando. Talk later. Bye. People are coming. Bye, everyone. And don't they miss the leash they left behind? Oh my gosh, my freckles have already come in. <laughs> okay, this is the dream team. This is Jacob and McKenna, the cutest couple to ever, well, second cutest. Yeah, I quickly retracted. We are at Park Pizza. 
That's an ill-trained dog. My that dog would never be like that. Actually, my dog would never. By the way, come on, guys. Hi, guys. So I'm currently getting ready. Um, if you're wondering, like, why are you not like? in your tennis outfit. Um, I'm gonna go get breakfast really quick. I just felt like putting on like something a little cute. I'm literally gonna bring my tennis clothes and then just like change in the car. But I thought I would kind of like talk to you guys for a second, just like update you guys on, you know, what's been going on. So yesterday I played two matches. Um, I played doubles with Mac um, in the morning. And then in the afternoon I played singles. We won our doubles match and we beat Michigan State, like, um, we beat Michigan State, but we lost to Houston um, later in the day. Today, I don't know who we're playing exactly. I know that Delaney, I don't play anyone today. That's also why I'm not, like, I'm gonna change into my tennis clothes, but like also I'm not playing anyone. Um, but Delaney plays Brian from UVA, and that's the only person that, like, I know she's playing. This weekend, our week has been so fun, honestly. I've loved it. This probably is my favorite tournament so far. I love just like the collegiate vibes of just seeing everyone like be with their college. There's all the other tournaments are more just like, I don't know, less college -y and more just tennis. Like anyone can come. So you get like all ages. Love every tournament I've ever been to, honestly. But this one is really cool just to have like that experience. Um, so, okay, makeup is done. My pressure sore is doing pretty good. No change, like it's not getting worse, which is a good thing. Um, my scalp is so burnt, you guys. Okay. Nothing crazy, but cute, simple, perfume. All right, time to go get breakfast. I love you all. Um, I'll see you guys either like at breakfast or on the courts. Bye. Um, tell the people what you just did. <laughs> Christy just left my wheelchair. Okay, we drove all the way back to the hotel, leaving the wheelchair in the parking lot, just sitting there. It's really hard to be this stupid. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, hi guys. So I'm gonna give a quick haul of everything that I got from 
the gift shop as you guys saw um they had so many cute clothes it was hard to pick honestly like what i wanted because it was kind of expensive but tennis clothes usually are so here's what i got you guys saw this the cutest little green tank and has like an open back so precious I just got this plain black mini skirt. It really fit well. And honestly, it's really short, which I like because I feel like a lot of tennis skirts are like longer. And like sitting down, I just don't feel like it. I don't like long skirts. I kind of like my skirts to look like shorts. And I mean, they have shorts under, so yeah. Um, that, and then lastly, or not lastly, but I got this green tank really cute simple and then this hat so yeah really let's see if i can i don't know it's kind of like a little trucker hat so yeah that is everything that i got um i had a gift card so it's like let me just let me just go crazy but yeah i love everything i'm about to head back to the courts i came to the hotel to like chill for a little bit lay down get off my pressure sore my back's been bothering me with like my scoliosis too so it's just like i need to go back um and no one was playing because it's been raining basically all day it's kind of why i haven't been vlogging because i've just been hanging out with my team and like there was nothing really to show um but yeah it has been a really good day it's been nice to just be with my friends and hang out but i'm gonna go back i think max playing right now and delaney so i'm gonna go watch them crush it and then yeah i will see you guys later oh also this is our view like how pretty not necessarily like the top of the roof but like the like palm trees and pool area i haven't even been back here yet but it's a really nice hotel, honestly. How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside? There's the one that me Rolling. Okay, the lighting in here is so good. For real. Who's like doing the best? Okay, I haven't even seen them play. Really? Uh huh. Oh my gosh. I wish I could have watched that match. At least Jacob knows how I feel. Just kidding. <laughs> what do you mean, same? Have you ever watched a match 6060 or 0606? Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, in the past. Ooh. I love the mini bottle of dry shampoo. I stole it from my mom. Mm, smart. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I 
I have never ever gotten ready for tennis tournaments. Like really gotten ready. And I feel like I don't, sometimes I put makeup on, but this one, I really said, curl your hair, makeup. I don't know, it just like feels like the vibes are right. Rose in a garden 